Superstorm Sandy destroyed communities, cut power to millions of homes, and left a new high water mark in New York City. Flooding was actually worse than the predictions. Flooding down here was about eight feet higher than the normal high tide. A tide that crippled New York's complex mass transportation network. We're at the southern tip of Manhattan, and this is one of the lowest subway stations in, uh, in the city of New York. Water level is probably about here, where, uh, where we are right now. So obviously this subway tunnel filled up. Subways and tunnels were inundated with massive amounts of water. So you're talking about 10 to 12 million gallons flooding this tunnel within about half hour. You couldn't believe what actually water can actually do to a city. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers partnered with city, federal agencies, and private industry to dewater 14 critical locations in a multi-million dollar mission assigned by FEMA. It was a challenge just dealing with that much water. In total, 475 million gallons of water were pumped out of the city so that life could get back to normal. And this is where we are today, back on our feet and, you know, functioning the way we should be. Mary Cochran Smith, New York.